Sean Webb here along with my good friend and teaching partner Mike Granada. We're with Athletic Motion Golf. And Mike, you know, we've both taught beginners, right? Mm -hmm. and, and what we normally see is kind of two distinct patterns when they pick up a golf club. They're either all arms right. or they've been told they need to use their body only and they have this body swing. So I think today we're going to try to clear that up maybe a little bit. Right. We want to show you not only how to use the arms, right? We've got to have the arms in the golf swing but we also want to make sure we use the body correctly to complement what the arms are doing and vice versa. And that's what today's video is going to be all about. All right, Sean, let's just dive right in. And you don't need to be a beginner to take benefit from this video. Jack Nicklaus basically got a brand new beginning golf lesson every season when he was the best player in the world. And it's something that we've all we've all been down rabbit holes where we kind of lose touch with exactly how to swing the club around our bodies. We either get sidetracked by positions or something else and we kind of lose touch with this. So this is a really good kind of home base for really every golfer to kind of get back in touch with the basic motions of the golf swing. Yeah, and I think just to, to tie this together, you know, golfers need to understand how the arms move right. and they need to understand how the body moves and then they need to understand how to move those two with coordination and sequence. Move them together, right? Right, so, so that things are synced up. You've heard that before, maybe right. you've been golf for a little while, but the, the synchronization between the club and the body, that's the golf swing. Every golf swing has arm movement and every golf swing should have a pivot. Yeah. And it's how we use those two pieces together that really determine how well we're gonna swing the club. Absolutely, and I think, you know, just for, for starters here, I think it's helpful to break down each arm right. instead of just both arms together because I think if, if someone can learn to swing the club independently with each arm and then add the body in, things that, like sometimes a light bobble golf, oh, I see, it, it's actually yes. both, they need to marry up. Well, most people are either dominant in one arm or the other, so they kind of have a bias to one or the other, and we need to use them both really well. Yeah, so... If we're talking about just arm motion, and we'll have some corresponding mm -hmm. drills to go along with this, you know, if you just gripped your club, uh, gripped the club in your right hand, your arm's going to swing back, and the elbow is going to fold, yep. right? It's going to unfold, and the wrist is going to rehinge on the other side. So it's an elbow fold and a wrist hinge, an unfolding and a, a rehinge on the other side, and you can get pretty good at making that little motion and just learn how to clip the grass. That right there is the basic motion for a good arm swing with the right arm. Right. I think we see a lot of uh, new golfers and a lot of um, golfers who've been playing a while kind of have the idea of width with the right arm and we see a lot of right arms and I was actually taught this early on to keep this right arm straight for a long time to create width which is good up to about this point and then when this club starts swinging back over the right arm collapses and then you got to fly it off your back and then you you kind of fake width and you create a lot of casting motion. So I, I love the idea of this right arm kind of hinging just basically off this one arm swing. It hinges pretty early. Yeah, absolutely. Elbow. So that would give you the kind of the basic right arm motion. Left arm, and you'll see good golfers doing this a lot, Mike. Just standing, if I was standing you on the tee just talking to you. Right, waiting, you know, for, waiting for your tee shot, yeah. Good golfers make this motion instinctively. So it's a very similar motion to the left um, or the right arm. The wrist hinges on the way back unhinges and rehinges mm -hmm. and the left arm folds in that motion and you'll see it a lot now that I've mentioned it you know you notice things more when you when you first hear about them and you'll see tour players doing it getting ready to hit balls on the first tee or wherever they are uh, making that motion just clipping the ground right and that again that that's the feeling of the correct arm swing with the left arm and again there's no thought or no intent when you're doing that to keep this arm dead straight like nobody's doing no. that move with it or trying to do that move with it. There is some softness to the forearms and elbow that I think a lot of golfers go down some bad roads trying to keep this arm straight, especially if mobility is limited. Yeah. To keep this arm straight, there's softness. And when we measure this stuff on 3D, on gears, we've yet to see a golfer with a straight arm at impact. Never. Some are really bent, some are slightly bent, but we just don't see this straightness. So it's a bad thing to try to keep a really straight arm. Yeah, and, and you start to feel the weight of the club and the momentum of the club without you fighting it. I call it the right. SWAT. You see people right, making right. these lungy moves. Start to work with the weight of the club more, especially when you only have one hand on it. That's exactly right. So that gives us kind of the independent arm motions. Mm -hmm. The body motion, a good way to feel that, just cross your arms up here and we'll do some more drills at the end of the video. But, you know, the, the pivot, I think, is something that, that 
it gets confusing if um, the golfers hear too many conflicting ideas about right. it. Basically, it's a turn on the backswing and a shift and a turn in the follow through. Right. Right. I think, you know, there's a lot of minutiae that goes along with it. And we've done a lot of videos, with a lot more detail. But for the beginning golfer, they just need like these higher level concepts. Umbrella concepts. Especially exactly if you're right. new to the game. So it's a turn and then a shift and a turn. You'll end up on this right toe. Right. If you can make that motion somewhat look like this, you're going to be in the ballpark. You marry that up with this arm motion we just showed you. You've got the makings of a, a pretty solid little golf swing. That's exactly right. And I think uh, one of the pitfalls with that is a turn turn. Mm -hmm. That's how it was described to me early on. You just turn back, turn through. Well, you're leaving out one really important part of that pivot, and that's the shift. Absolutely correct. So it's a turn, shift turn, and we see that with every good ball striker we've ever worked with. Yeah, so that gives us the basics for the arms individually and the body. Let's come back in a minute here and look at the drills, and we'll give you some stuff you can use to incorporate this in your own game. All right, Sean, let's take a look at the uh, uh, some really good drills to do for the arms. Okay, perfect. And we'll start with the right arm. Yeah, and I think um, I demonstrated it in the first section with you know my hand on the, the grip side of the club. What I want you to do to start with, though, is just grip it underneath the head of the club. Not on the head, just underneath of it. Right, because what that does, it creates like a counterweight here for you, and the club head, the end of it, starts feeling really light, so you can move it, right? right. And it feels like it's easier for the club to swing or this you're, end you're to swing. You're being total control. Yeah. yeah. So what I want you to do, put your right arm up here high on your shoulder, almost like holding this upper part of your arm close to your body just a little bit, right. so it doesn't go like this way, like Mike said, and put your feet together and get used to swinging it back. Letting it hinge, it's gonna hinge really easy because this weight is down here. Right. Let your elbow fold, unfold, and then re-hinge it on the other side. Kind of an L on this side and let it swing up here on the other side. So hinge, fold, unhinge, or unfold, and then re-hinge on this side. So it starts looking this way. Once you start doing that a few times, we've got a sense for it. Now try it with your left arm. You're gonna take your right hand, hold it here, hinge, and re-hinge. So that motion there alone will start getting your arm motion where it needs to be. And I think one of the pitfalls with doing that, and what you want to be careful of, is when you're hinging, you don't try to, no. to make super long swings by going too fast. Yeah. It's really kind of like left arm parallel or left forearm parallel to the yep. ground, and then the same going through. But you don't want to do it, get it back here, because that's going to be very ungolf like when you take that hand off. That's right. So once you got a feel for that, what you can do now, do the same thing with the grip band, holding the grip band and feeling the weight of the club swing back and through. And this looks really easy. A lot of you just starting out are gonna be doing this kind of motion right. with it. Feel the weight of the club swinging and brushing the ground back and through until you have a sense for where that's gonna hit the ground and do it the same on the other side. Now, the next progression is to hit balls. Uh, you made a really good point there. It should look easy when you're doing it. Right? Yeah. And you should be able to, a great way to do this is if you have a little carpet pattern indoors or even outdoors on like a weed or a, you know like a dandelion we used to do is try to hit the same spot every single time yeah you're doing this at first you're going to hit some back here you maybe hit some up here but you get really good at it you'll start controlling the body and hitting the same place every time and then you progress to the next part of it yeah the next part is going to be hitting balls and you know, I think this is a good drill for anybody to do, beginner or otherwise, Absolutely. especially for beginners, just to learn the motion. Tee the ball up. Uh, I would grab maybe a seven iron here. Let me switch with you real quick. That's a five. Yep, grab a, grab a seven. Seven. Yep, hold your right arm uh, in place with the left here. Make a couple practice swings and see if you can clip one. I'm going to hit one down this way, okay. Mike. See if you can clip one off the tee. And ball should go pretty straight. Right. Right, with, with very minimal effort because you're using the weight of this club as it swings through to just clip the ball off and you're not trying to swat at it. And it's not, you're not trying to hit this ball as far as you can. No. It's just a little bunning these balls out there. Yeah. Now, now go ahead and do it. Once you get mastery of that, or you have a pretty good feel with your right arm, add the left arm, make the same motion. And then step up to the ball, see if you can make contact. I hit just a baby little draw there. Good. So that's the feeling with each individual arm and those are great drills. A lot harder than they look, right. just because I've been doing it since I was five years old. Uh, I've got a handle on it, but th the more you do these drills, the more you feel what the arm swing does. Now you've got a grasp on how to, to take that and start adding it into the body, which we're going to show you now. Yeah, this is a super, I mean, these are really simple drills, which is why we like them. And it, our pros still use these drills. 
You'll see them all the time at tournaments on the range, in the bunkers, around the green, always switching between right arm and left arm to really kind of get the sense for how this club moves. And you stay connected with this club, you're gonna hit better shots. Now the, the third part of this drill with the arms before we add in the body is one of the old classic drills, but it's one of the better ones again, just feet together. Yes. Both hands on the club, feet together, with, without, so you kind of removes the ability to make a big, the big sweat. lunge. Yep. Yeah. Feet together, hinge, unhinge, rehinge. You can see the freedom of that, and my arms are swinging a little bit independently of my shoulders, and what a lot of you are going to do is try to do this with this kind of chopping action. Right. It's just freedom in the arms and shoulders that allows me to do this, and I'm going to hit one, Mike. Okay. So, hinge. Unhinge, rehinge, you'd be surprised how far you can, the ball will go with no effort because you're using the, the arms and there's some speed to that. Right, and the, the pivot essentially is supporting it. That's right. It's not necessarily trying to drive the motion, which is difficult to do when your feet are together. Absolutely, so that gives me my arms. It's for the pivot, one of the, my favorite drills is hold the club across your chest this way. Mm -hmm. Get your feet shoulder width and think of your right hand as the face of the club. Right. Right? That would give you a, a good feeling of where that face is. So you're going to pivot back, feel a little pressure into your right foot. Now shift left, swing the arm through to the finish. And this is a great one to do in front of a mirror. Like you don't have to do this one outdoors right here. And you can watch the mirror and make sure that you're not seeing this movement like this, right? You want to keep yeah. that, that as Sean likes to say, that tag on your shirt pretty much in the middle. Back swing slight shift and then pivot through and you start combining these you work on them individually but you start combining these and you're going to definitely see a difference when you start actually going out hitting balls normally on the golf course yeah and, and this what a great drill for synchronization between your arms and your body yes. right so here's my arm my body motions here i'm going to pivot and kind of keep this right hand in, in front of my chest right i'm not doing this i'm not pulling the arm behind me right. away from the chest I'm turning and folding, right? Now my arm's in front of me, swings down in front of me, through. So now I'm getting some synchronization between the arms and the body, which that is the golf swing. <laughs> that's, that's moving the club around your body much more efficiently. So let's tee another one up. Okay. With that thought in mind, I'm gonna go normal stance width. I would still use a tee if you're, kinda, if you're still learning Always the game. Always start with a tee, it's just easier. Yeah, so now I'm feeling I'm feeling this arm motion like this, right? If yep. my body didn't turn, this is what the arms would do. Right. Right? I'm feeling that along with my pivot and my little shift that I just did. And you'd be surprised how far the ball will go with no effort at all because now you're synchronizing arms, body, club. Ball goes pretty straight because you've got a handle on the club That's face. That's exactly right. The problem becomes when you're picking up the game or even if you've been playing it for a while, when you start lunge in the body or throw in the arms early without the, the support of the body. It's the hit impulse. Yeah, or vice versa. People, I mean, now right. the club and the body's out of sync again. So this feeling of arms and body working more together, learning these individual arm drills, they're going to pay dividends, and that's the golf swing, right? Learning that motion. <laughs> that's exactly right. So put these drills to good use. Be patient with them when you first start out. Go slow. Tee the ball up. Give yourself room. Don't, don't hit them next to a lot of people because you're going to hit bad shots starting out. But be patient. You will see improvement, and you will definitely start hitting better golf shots. Give these a try. Let us know how it goes. Hey, guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a like. Also, if you have any questions about today's video or you have an idea of a video that you want us to shoot, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. We read every single comment. We also respond to the comments. So again, leave us a comment if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see. Now, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. We have videos coming out every single week and we don't want you to miss one. So by clicking subscribe, that ensures you're notified right away when a new video comes out. And hey, if you want to add instant distance to your drive, and we all do, everybody wants more distance, go ahead and click the link in the pinned comment below. You're going to see a link. Click on it. It's going to take you to a page. You're going to enter your name and email address. We're going to send you an email where you're going to get access to instant distance, which is a video training that we put out. We know it's going to help you. We know we're going to see you farther down the fairway.